I know you guys are going to be excited today because I finally rented a Modelo Symphony and I put it through the works in testing it. I checked it out and one of the most common questions that I get about the Symphony, especially from a lot of NICU moms or those who were started on the Symphony is what personal electric pump is similar to that? Like what should I get now that I'm leaving the hospital or I'm done renting my Symphony? What do I do now? So that's what we're going to tackle today. Let's look at some of the other personal electric pumps that are similar to the Medela Symphony. So this is a pump that is really common in hospitals. It's also available as a rental, like I said. I see it used a lot for moms in the NICU or who are really trying to establish a great solid supply when the baby is not available to feed at the breast. Okay, some, some things that I like about it are that it is very simple to use. So there's really just a knob here and you push it up or down and the settings are preset. So all you really have to focus on is controlling the vacuum strength. It has 16 different vacuum levels. So that will give you a lot of customization in finding that perfect spot for you where you're at a high vacuum level, but it's very comfortable. It's also a smooth transition in between adjustments and also expression to stimulation mode. I like that there's so many, but again, it's very simple. You only have this dial. It will switch automatically back and forth from stimulation to expression mode at two minutes. So in theory, you don't even really have to think about that either. And it's meant for heavy use. So these pumps hold up really well. They get heavily used by multi-users. It's a really expensive pump, obviously, which is why you guys are asking me, what pump can we get that's similar? that's not $2,000. So <laughs> there we go. A lot of the parts used to be interchangeable on the Medela pumps, which was a perk. Now, however, Medela is kind of making all their pumps with different parts. So that's not the case anymore. But Medela is kind of the oldest and biggest brand out there. So their parts are usually pretty easy to find in local stores, um, which is a pro. So let's look at some of the specifics of the Medela Symphony just really quick so that we know what we're comparing against some other personal electric pumps, <laughs> okay? The first thing that I think is really important is the stimulation mode cycle speed is really fast. And I actually think that this is a good thing. The cycles per minute in stimulation mode are 118 to 122 right in there. The company quotes 120 and my testing was, that was right there. I think a faster cycle in stimulation mode can provide better stimulation for these letdowns. And I think that's why we have a lot of moms seeing success on this particular pump. So this is important. We're going to come back to this later. Okay. In expression mode, the cycles per minute are, from my testing, 52 to 79. I think there are two different cards you can put in the Symphony, one to like initiate a milk supply and one for regular use. I'm not really sure yet. I'll dive more into that later. But the one I had was set to maintenance mode or whatever, and these were the cycles that I found. I think the cycles are a little bit less in that initiation mode. I'm not sure why yet, but we can figure it out together. Anyway, that's kind of the cycles per minute that we're looking at. The vacuum range was pretty cool. I, on the pump that I had, the first level was like literally zero. Um, and then I was able to get it up to 204. The the company says 250 and that's probably likely as well. I'm not exactly sure how long this pump has been used, what the motor life is on it. I know you can check it and I probably should have done that before I started this video, but I have no problem saying like zero or 30 is probably what we're gonna call it up to 250 as the vacuum range, okay? This was also really consistent when it was double pumped. So single versus double pumping, I got almost identical numbers. Um, I was able to get up to 200. You probably could get closer to 250. It's a little bit of room for variance on my booby barometer there. So, but double pumping, totally solid, no problems there. Very consistent, which is cool. Not all pumps can do that, right? Especially when we're talking about the personal electric pumps. So here's what the suction pattern looked like on this pump. And I think this is really interesting. It goes straight up and then it kind of has a soft release. It kind of does that initial drop and then it drops all the way. And I think that that is something that's really unique about the Modella Symphony. Just that softer downstroke can make for a more comfortable pumping experience. Just for reference, this is on vacuum level nine of 16 in expression mode. But I tried to find in my search pumps that had a similar pattern to that 
also some similar specs, like similar cycle speeds, vacuum ranges, but the pattern was what I was looking at on several of these. So as we dive now into some personal electric pumps that compare to the Medela Symphony, just keep in mind that there's a lot of features that you can compare between pumps and we're not covering them all here. Some other things to consider are like the warranties of these pumps, motor life, are they multi-user? What are their other capabilities, their size, their portability, things like that. So in this video, we're really just comparing which pump is most similar to the Symphony in functionality. I'm also not saying that the Modella Symphony is like the best pump in the world and all other pumps should be compared to this pump. <laughs> really, we're just, I'm just, I just found a list of personal electric pumps that compared to this. So don't like feel like get it in your head. Like this is the standard gold standard of pumps. And you have to have this to, if your baby's in the NICU or need a supply, like, no, I just get this question a lot from moms who've used it or rented it and want something similar to use more long-term that's affordable. So let's dive in and see what we can find. Okay, so this is the chart we're gonna kind of be using um, to compare. So I've got the suction powder chart listed for you there, the stimulation cycles per minute, the expression cycles per minute, the vacuum range. I also added double pumping strength. Um, the Medela was a five star for me because I, it was very consistent with the single pumping. And then long-term heavy use, I think I added that one later as we started diving into some other pumps because some of the other pump specs matched pretty close, but do am I really going to recommend those for heavy long-term use? No. So this is what we're going with. So the first one we're going to look at is the Medela Sonata. And this pump probably had the most similar specs to the Medela Symphony that I found. The suction pattern was pretty similar if you can see that there. The stimulation cycles were a little bit lower, 113, but still that's faster than a lot of the other pumps that I've tested. Expression cycles were right on. The vacuum range was very good as well. A little bit lower capabilities on the Sonata, at least based on my testing. Um, the manufacturer, I think, says something a little different than that. The double pumping strength on this pump was dynamite. Very, very similar to single double pumping, which again is impressive. Long-term heavy use, I did put four stars on the Sonata only because I'm not super familiar with it. This is not a pump that I see really, really commonly being used, so I'm just a little unsure. However, this had very similar specs to the Symphony, so I think this would be a great pump if you really like the Symphony and you're like, I want something almost identical. Maybe they tried to get this the same. I'm not sure, but the parts are different though. You will not be able to use your Medela Symphony kit with the Medela Sonata, but it is what it is. Another pump I looked at was the Ardo Alyssa, and I am becoming more and more in love with this pump the more that I research and talk about it. The pumping style was a little bit different here, you can see, but it did kind of have that softer release, which I think is a key factor of the pattern of the Symphony. The Alyssa also was able to go up to 106 cycles in stimulation mode, which again, we tend to see the, the faster the better, not necessarily crazy speed, like, like a pump like the Limerick Joy goes up to like 400 cycles per minute. I think that's excessive, but <laughs> this one was, came pretty close. The expression cycles were fine, although a little bit slower than the Symphony. The vacuum range was very similar. Double pumping strength, right on. I can get the exact same uh, when I'm single and double pumping the Ardo Alyssa. And then long-term heavy use, I did give this four and a half only because it's not like a hospital pump that is like guaranteed for three to five years and crazy motor life. I am very confident though that this pump is well-made and would be an excellent long-term use. I'm very impressed with it. The next one we're going to look at is the Unimom Opera. So this is a dual motor pump, meaning that you can change the settings on each breast individually because there's two motors in it. The, the suction pattern was didn't have that like down release, but it was a, a gentle pattern. I, I liked it. The cycles per minute, I could get it up to 100 cycles per minute, which again is slower than the Symphony, but still a decent rate. The expression cycles were a little bit slow as well, but not necessarily a problem. You got a lot of options there, both in the stimulation and expression mode when you combine them together. The vacuum range was great. Double pumping strength, it's got two motors, so you can get exactly the same strength on each side. Long-term heavy use, I'm very confident that this one would hold up long-term. The reason I chose this one, even though it doesn't have like the same-ish suction pattern, is because I would feel very comfortable if you are using the Medela Symphony, there's a reason. Like you need a good pump. You can't just go grab 
a inexpensive lame pump that is not going to give you the suction power and strength and options that you need there's a reason you have the symphony so i i chose this one because it had similar specs although not like exactly the same but i'm confident that you if you need a good strong pump this one would be a good option i've also seen this one covered by insurance occasionally which is awesome because it's still like a $600 pump, although I do have a coupon code in the description for you, but there's a coupon code and links for several of these down in there for you. But anyway, I liked, I liked that one compared to the Symphony. Another one I wanted to take a look at was the Spectra Gold. This one, the suction pattern wasn't similar really, but some of the specs were, I was able, you can get up to 106 on the Gold. The classic Spectra, like one and two, you can only go up to 70. That's their simulation mode cycles per minute the fact that you can go higher with the gold i think is important to note expression mode was fine this one i don't see as big of a concern with the difference there in fact i like them a little bit slower sometimes i think so that one's great vacuum level you can you can definitely get more vacuum suction on the synergy gold than you can on the Medela symphony double pumping strength it's a dual motor pump so it's exactly the same on each side and long-term heavy use i'm also pretty confident that this pump will hold up very well to long-term use another pump i wanted to compare was the super genie again i picked it because it had the stimulation cycles per minute was able to go over 100 that was kind of my criteria for <laughs> choosing these pumps for you the pattern is not very similar but this pump the expression cycles were great vacuum fine all that stuff but this pump you can actually set programs and settings and so you can just push like plug and play which makes it very similar to that of the symphony where you just have to adjust the vacuum level to your liking i think that that's a, a big factor of the symphony so this one will take a little bit more to set up and get going where the symphony you just literally turn a dial but the super genie was once you set those programs it's got the cycle speeds the pattern is not the same though so if you love the feel of the symphony and you're like i want that suction pattern that feels the same maybe not this one but it would be a fine option and i'm confident it would hold up well to long-term use another pump i found that had a similar style suction pattern was the breeze from rumble tough this is actually a really small pump and if you want more information on this i'll be i may be adding this pump into some comparison videos as well because i've been impressed with it it also is very simple to use it has a dial on the top so instead of you know a button or like all these settings it really just is a dial i was able to get up to 112 cycles per minute in simulation mode which is great again i love ones over 100 <laughs> expression cycles per minute were also really great vacuum range is dynamite Double pumping strength, surprisingly, was quite good. Long-term heavy use, again, I gave it a four, similar to the Medela Sonata. I'm just not sure the, the long-term heavy use capabilities of this pump, although I would have really no problem if a mom told me, I was using the Symphony and I'm using the Rumble Tough Breeze at home. Do you think that'll work? I would just say, I would say, yeah, definitely go for it. Their customer service is great and they are really great about replacing anything that does go wrong. So I would have no problem. The pattern is similar. It's got that kind of softer release, which I think is really interesting. So this would be a nice option as well. So the next two that we're looking at are smaller, more portable pumps. And I chose these two because they had cycles per minute in stimulation mode that went higher than 100. Now, I just want to say before we start into these two that they are small portable pumps okay so if you have been using the Medela symphony it's a big heavy duty pump and there's probably a reason for that so do i recommend going to a small portable easy lightweight pump and expecting the same results maybe not but just consider that okay so but i do want to kind of just talk about these two and see what we think okay so the first one is the zomi 2 and this one had cycles per minute in simulation mode, I could get them really, really fast, over 200, which is kind of crazy. And then the expression cycles had a really large range as well. You don't get to control this on the Zomi. It's preset based on the vacuum level that you pick. The suction strength was great. Double pumping on this pump is dynamite. Um, I can get virtually the same. Long-term heavy use though did get three stars. Again, this is a portable pump. This is small. The suction pattern there at the top there is not really similar to the Symphony either. It's kind of your standard tug and pull. The Symphony has that gradual drop. So while this does have the faster cycles per minute, which I liked, it also has an alternating suction pattern, meaning that it's going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, instead of the synchronous together. And that is not like the Symphony. Some of the specs did match, although 
I don't know. You can take that for whatever you think. <laughs> and then we also have the free me, which I'm just now realizing has the Zomi picture behind it. I apologize for that. But the free me Liberty is this graph. The patterns are not the same, but fine. And the cycles per minute, you can adjust it widely on the free me. You can adjust both the cycle speed and the vacuum levels. It also has some setting, some memory settings. So you can just plug and play when you get comfortable with that. Vacuum range was great. Double pumping strength is not so great on the Freemi. The vacuum range also is poor when you use the cups. <laughs> so never would I recommend going from using the Medela Symphony to a small portable pump with cups. That sounds like a really bad idea. But if you use regular phalanges with the Freemi pump, it actually performs really well. I'm not confident about the long-term heavy use, but the Freemi, you know, the, some of the specs are similar. And it definitely has that option to customize because you can adjust the cycles and the vacuum pressure separately okay i hope that helps give you an idea of some of the personal electric pumps that are similar to the symphony the comment section of this video is where you're going to find the dynamite gold because i know i'm going to get tons of comments i like the symphony and this is what i use and i am here for that please tell us what you liked it doesn't have to have the exact same specs to still work for you, all right? I just, those are the pumps that I chose that I could find similar specs on. So if you like, I like the Spadella Symphony and then I love the Spectra One, that was great for you. That's awesome. Those are really not similar pumps. And if you want a video comparing those two, that's fine. But nobody says that only one style is gonna work for you and only one pump is your, you have to marry it and only use that. So I am so excited to comment down below with you and see what you guys like. What have you found that works for you? What have you found that hasn't? And maybe we can update this video with some more user information. So please help me and the community be active down there and tell me what you think. There's links and codes and stuff in the description if any of that helps you in your process for looking. If you are a working mom and you want more pumping support, that's exactly what I do. And I work individually in a group program with working moms combining breastfeeding and pumping. So if that's you, I would love to chat. But otherwise, let me know what pump you pick. I can't wait to hear it. Good luck.